How's everybody doing? This is Jeff. And I'm Gina. And we're here in Hollywood, and we're hoping wherever you are, you're doing extremely well and healthy, and stay safe during this coronavirus. Exactly. That, that, that it, it's spreading, and we weren't expecting... I am. You know, Gina and I, we've been indulging in Corona beer. We hardly thought that we were going to see this name on a virus. Yeah, even though um, it's scary. And um, in, in the Bahamas and Abaco, the air quality there, they got questions, questions about all the dead bodies there that uh, we will ignore, that the, that the government does not want to... Uh, claim or say how bad the situation is there yet to you know they, 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 well, they focus on the tourism dollars eh? I well I mean yeah I, I expect that throughout the entire Commonwealth that bleach production is up first before you start trying to produce tourism numbers you know what I mean just make people feel safe that when they go there they're not going to catch something and then take it back home and well, that's a whole other Kill their community. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's like paradise that doesn't fit in with the paradise the paradigm. The, the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Well said. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I try. Uh, and, and succeed. <laughs> so, thank you, baby. I love you. You know, love you too. So, I'll come to uh, you. I love you. You are the best. So, so anyway, so we're, we're you know, we're. We're here on a beautiful got a week and a few more days of the Super Bowl, and, and uh, we just got like chilling on this. We got like fog, mm -hmm. so we're overlooking the city. It's been two days of fog though. Two nights, two nights. Two nights, two nights. Yeah, and and it brings in like a little chill, little mountain air chill. It's kind of sexy last night, you know, because everything was fogged out except for the trees. I was like, wow, what's yeah, out there? Yeah, couldn't see any lights, couldn't no see stars. Anything. Low yeah. visibility. There were there were no helicopters or, or planes flying through the sky. You know what I mean? Because they know this is not the kind of weather that you want to be flying in around here. You might not make it to your destination. Hey, you know what? We never mentioned to them about the brain drain in the Bahamas. Okay. The brain drain in the Bahamas is, is that... When you get down there after you have your big degree, these Bahamian whoever is coming back, whether they uh, got their degrees in the U.S., the U.K., Germany, Asia, Canada. you know, big big contingent get it from Canada. Yeah, all but, show, no play. All show, yeah, we go. <laughs> <laughs> so they show up, they show back home, they're promised everything under the stars, and it turns out to be... <laughs> Everything under the dirt they they receive. It turns out to be Downton Abbey. <laughs> it turns out to be garbage. Oh, no, Downton, Downton Abbey. Abbey. Oh. Downton Abbey and Butler. Oh, and oh, made it. oh, the downstairs part of Downton oh, Abbey. Oh, yeah. Not Wait, the upstairs. Waiting part. for the king and queen to come and visit you so that you can bake them a pie. Well, <laughs> that's if you get a chance. That's yeah. if you get a chance. And what happens is that you eventually you get tired of it, and most people just pack their bags and they leave, exactly. leaving the Bahamas to go to a continual another year of a lower ceiling, low education, just no or um, of the same the same events, the this, same this is the, the same British quality American. of life. And in a matter of fact, this is the first time that the quality of life has decreased under this administration. <laughs> it's decreased so much. Yeah, but Jeff, this is the British American experience throughout the world, throughout the 20th century. Now we're in the 21st century, and we're looking back in the 20th century and realize we didn't really learn much through, through colonialism. Well, you know what? This is very interesting that you mentioned this because now you've got Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. I think she learned a great deal. What she went through, we all learned, and yeah. that is exposing colonialism. Exactly. In a new way. And before. exposing post-colonialism as post well. Post-colonialism. Yeah, it's just we don't have... Explain no, post-colonialism, baby. It means that it, it's a backlash of, of education, um, uh, uh, educational, uh, what do you call it? Um, targets. All the targets have been raised okay, po in post-colonialism because post-colonialism basically reflects 
the, the slave master relationship. I mean, no, colonialism is a slave master relationship. Po post colonial relationships are the slave master relationship that is now developed into commerce. That's what I was trying to get at. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Well put, baby. Sorry, I, I had to like work the the the, the, the Sweetheart, we ain't I had to work the concepts in my we, mind. We had a couple of minutes. We waited for you. It was I, worth the wait. I know. So, but remember remember the, the, the first seal of the Bahamas was expel the pirates and restore commerce. And that went all the way back to um uh, Sir Wood Rogers. You know? Yeah, and, they he, did, and, and, and up until this point, they still have not expelled the pirates. So. But his but his, his descendants still live to this day. Uh, Roger, the same governor, Sir Roger, Sir, what is it? Woods Rogers. Wood, Woods Rogers. Woods Rogers still has a generation to this day living in England, looking at the Bahamas, at what progress has happened since their Right. Relative. The, their relative was governor of the Bahamas. You know, has any progress happened? And I'm probably sure that they're disappointed, as well as others are. You know what I mean? It's just like, why can't you get this shit together? You, you have the basic, the basic problems. For you anyone, have a hundred thousand any... square feet of land and ocean to govern, and you can't handle that. Excuse me. Uh, for those who, are, who don't who know very little about the Bahamas, we're going to get you up to date. Uh, Bahamas is an archipelago off of the coast of Florida and extends down um, uh, towards the Jamaica area. Before, Jam uh, uh, before you get to Jamaica, you're going to see a lot of land. It's supposed to be 700 islands and keys, C-A-Y-S, which are small smaller islands, some of them very small islands, and uh, uh, you can look up the coordinates. The most, in two, two years ago there was a, a prime minister elected uh, who promised, of course, you know, the big things and so forth, but this guy is so lousy. Documents, how, how, documents, how, how that's, lousy, that's, that's how his name. How lousy is he, you say? I don't want Jeff to skip <laughs> over the fact that his name is Dr. Hubert he, he, Minutes. Yeah, well, that, that's not, we're not trying to <laughs> I'm not trying to make him any more famous. He's more infamous. But anyway, this guy is so lousy. Um, Hubert Alexander Minnis. Yeah, hey, it's, <laughs> nothing what, interesting what, about what saying his name. What, what nothing interesting about saying it. <laughs> nothing interesting about saying the <laughs> his name over Let's and over Let's ask A.S.H. Pritchard what the, word, what, what the name Alexander means to him. Yeah, well. I don't, I, I'm, I, I don't, you know. I'm throwing it out there. Yeah, if well, anybody wants to answer that, you no, know, the Bahamas is a strange country that has a lot of, uh, uh, you know, a lot of strange things in it. It's a very small country, so as you can imagine, nepotism, and you're you're hiring your best friend, your best friend's child, your best friend's grandchild, and all this kind of stuff is going on to the point that it's at Were the suffrage, at the <laughs> sufferance. <laughs> it's too late now, it's out. <laughs> so, <laughs> however it lay, it lay. So it tickles at the, me deeply. And, but I, I was speaking. I'm sorry, sorry, so sorry, sorry, baby. At the sufferance of the people, uh, um, you know, the, you know, to keep in mind that they keep doing this, this, this stealing and, and, and keeping the people down, that kind of thing. So now we've got the worst prime minister ever. Yeah. There we go. And the Bahamas doesn't deserve it. That's the thing. It's no. just, you know, if you if if you want to if you want to perform an operation, then you need to be at the theater. You know what I mean? You need to be at PMH theater or or doctors' hospital theater if they didn't lock the doors when you were ready. You know what I mean? Just just go there. Don't operate on being mean people. He, well, he's, as, uh, a he's, as a prime minister, you 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 operating on the entire country. All right. And you don't even know what you damn doing. Well, what right. he's doing is, is dissecting <laughs> shit. No, it, it, apparently he seems to wait until the milk is spilled, cleaning it up with a dirty rag, <laughs> and then wait until milk is spilled again. So the lousiness of this guy is, if you were to eat in his kitchen, you would eventually get coronavirus. 
Yeah. <laughs> there is something about this guy. He, he doesn't don't know how to use bleach. All of a sudden, he doesn't know how to communicate with people. He doesn't all of a sudden think that he is one of the people. One of the people who saw him grow up in Peter Street, which is one of the worst places to grow up in the entire Bahamas. Let me tell you how 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 difficult that street is if you get past life being lost or the attempt of mugging. <laughs> you know, just just the just the, the and you know the. the they cherish the Peter Street way, and this prime minister shows all of those aspects. And you put a tattoo on the area by making sure that your gas station is still there to this day, with one pump working and the other pump waiting for gas to come. Stop so, playing with people. Man. Hey, um, when you were growing up, did you, did you have a tree house or know someone who had a tree house? Okay, in the Bahamas, currently, they have these things called shanty towns, and they are like tree houses, and they've got people living in those tree houses who have been illegally migrated into the country. Okay. <coughs> so, what we have here is the Prime Minister's decided he's going to forget to talk to all the rich and the middle class. He's going to focus on the poor, because he is from Peter Street, and... Uh, and, 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 and the Over the Hill initiative is his Over the Hill is goal. where the people, the poor people live, away from the beaches, over the hill. Right, so he's going to appeal to the poor neighborhoods, right? So, so now... Poorly. Poor, huh? Poorly. He poorly, he poorly communicated to the poor communities. And now, All of it's poor. And now they're ready to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, let's let's say they don't wish him well. They don't. Uh, they yes. They do not wish him well. Yes, he, he, uh, he doesn't. The gentleman of the ladies' code. I'm sorry. I, I yeah. digress. Yeah, I, yeah. It's, yeah. He, it's all the, the football talking. And by the way, Pittsburgh Steelers need to get rid of their coach. Yeah, yes, anyway, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Someone need to say it out front. Someone need to. Someone need to act like Jerry Jones in Pittsburgh. <laughs> oh, don't, and if I gotta call Jerry name in Pittsburgh, that's a bit, it's it's a problem. Yay, yay. Just get gangster on him. You know what I'm saying? You know, because his head ain't no good. You know, yeah, in, we're in Sunset Boulevard <laughs> where we're like this is where Richard Bryant was live on the Sunset Strip. Right, right, right. You know, hey, you want to shout out to any of Debbie, Debbie G, Debbie who, Debbie, Debbie Gilly, G, yeah, Debbie. Oh, Debbie, Debbie Gilly, yeah, hey, yeah. very faithful. Nancy, and Nancy Litziger, uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, Nancy get, Skinner. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who? Oh, oh, hey, Stephanie, hey, Stephanie, Steph. De De G G, G G Hart. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And, uh, but, but anyway, and trust me, we'll be calling out the rest of you as we go on. So don't worry. So you gotta listen to. Don't worry. These these podcasts. So yeah. so we're, so we're here, right? We're here. Oh, building, and, and Jen's Jen's favorite oh, and Jen, Jen's, 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 and Lot and Lot and Jen, Jen's who have to cast. That's right. Lot They're over in Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dance, oh, 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 Dance, Denmark. Anyway, so we're out here, right? We're, we uh, for some of you who may have seen our chat. Cast mm -hmm. one and two. Thank you so much. Our views have been there and everything. So we've been trying to. One of the many things we've been doing out here is trying to build an app for the chat cast. We own the name and uh, uh, the whole concept. It's a language of pictures and teaming that with audio and something that you can send back and forth uh, yeah. quickly uh, to family and friends. But anyway, so. This coronavirus thing, yeah. you know, we've been talking about how when China, the China, Chinese came into the Bahamas and mm -hmm. how everything changed. But they didn't know it was going to change back home, though. They had no idea. No, I always say that this China land grab is they knew there were health problems in provinces that they could not control. There are mountain, there are there are distant societies that had lack of food or there were major provinces that had lack of food due to so many people and all of a sudden everyone started getting kind of desperate and slash fancy which means you're starting to eat stuff you shouldn't be eating because you can't afford the food that you should be eating 
Okay. But maybe, but maybe China started to say, you know what, we're a developing country. They so, are. So hopefully, what we should do is uh, to, to expand, is to um, invest in sciences, invest in technology, to expand our our our, our need, our, the demand on our country. Do you feel that China has followed that mandate fully? I feel like they're trying, Jeff. That's why they're a developing country. You know what? I'm sitting here right now, Sunset Boulevard. Uh -huh. Technically, I'm trying to do a lot of things. Now, you know how you talk to me. Yeah, hard. I talk to you hard. Talk to me hard. So, are the actions enough for just trying? I, I th to, to me, I ain't trying hard enough. They try harder when it comes to gambling and putting up those casinos. They are gamblers, Jeff. You said it right there. They are gamblers, okay? And maybe they gambled a little too much. And more. in the wrong direction. Gambling and for the benefit of human beings. Yeah, but, but Jeff, that... You'll always, you'll always win with that. But Jeff, that is what world civilization is all about, okay? Gambling on human beings, Jeff. Okay. All right, the Romans have been doing it, the Greeks have been doing it, they've been doing it for centuries. Okay, look, I, 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 get the, uh, I get the whole gambling part, but you, you know, I, there's a certain part. I don't there's agree with it. Okay. I don't agree with that. We're on Mount Olympus, okay? You know? Well, We're with the gods and goddesses, okay? Well, we, technically, we technically, there is a Mount Olympus in California, it's over. It's in the Canyon Hollywood Hills, Hills, okay? And we're not too far from it, We're okay? So, so, listen, let's talk. It's too uh, far. No, go ahead. It's <laughs> too far. But it, we, we do see kind of a in the area. <laughs> We're wearing white robes. It's close enough. Okay, there you go. Okay, okay go That's ahead. That's the way I feel about it. Okay, okay. okay. But seriously, when you, when, you, when you look at the whole situation, Jeff, I mean... Oh, help me out. Help help me out with what I'm saying because I know you're thinking what I'm thinking right now. Tell, you well, know? I have no choice to yell at me. But <laughs> 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 any, yeah. at, at any rate, you're, uh, it, it, it is, it's all guesswork. Look, my point is, let's say in the Bahamas, there's but so many chances of guesswork you can get before you get fired. Now, as the world gets into areas that are really, really, going to get more and more serious, pandemics and other things, you know, this leader in the Bahamas, you don't get that kind of, you know. Well, that's what it was that we were talking about. We were talking about the pandemic situation in China. And that's Bahamas. coming, that's, that's all over, yeah. That's all over the world, right? Yeah, well, I'm getting there anyway, okay. at this point. Okay, now that you brought me back to ground zero, that's what I wanted to talk about. If you look at the map they showed, Okay, they show Beijing to Guangzhou, Guangzhou and then they show Xi'an to um, Shanghai, okay? That forms a cross, and anywhere that there's a cross, there's a circle. So that means that that is the, the, the trajectory of the disease. Of the spreading. From, of the spreading from the center point of wherever that cross is. That is a dangerous situation. You know, in the Bahamas. That is a dangerous environmental situation. You know, in the Bahamas, they have this stuff. Where, you know, we eat, you know, they're chickens. There's something called chicken sauce, which is like a chicken soup. Mm -hmm. um, people eat sheep tongue. There's a sheep tongue sauce, which is sheep tongue soup. Mm -hmm. You know, so there are a lot of these things, indigenous things that you can get. Um, you know. On, you know, on the island, when China came to buy Bahamar and all the Chinese construction came, construction workers came, and all of a sudden we started seeing the Chinese businesses, restaurants, you know, the fast food restaurant and bar mm -hmm. that the China, uh, Chinese came in and, uh, into the Bahamas and into Nassau. And, uh, um, uh, and, you know, in this particular case, the first sign two years ago was all of a sudden we, uh, the Bahamas was having a lot of stray dogs and cats and it was that kind of land where you could have stray dogs and cats where they could hide and, 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 and feed and so forth and so on well they disappeared in certain areas 
and then you and I were living in a neighborhood where we used to see them late at night. We would be walking late at night. They'd be riding bicycles late at night. Who? You know, it was a group of young Chinese men. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just going through the neighborhood. Yeah. You know, just riding. And, and like I said, Checking out the neighborhood. The, the, the world has changed. Uh, Checking uh, out where they're going to buy their next property. Former President Obama quoted it as a messy place. It, yeah. The world <laughs> is a messy place. You know, and if anybody looks at any map anywhere around the world and you see a cross, okay, like a black cross or any kind of cross. Where would you on, see a cross on a map? That's what I'm trying to explain. Anytime you see a cross on a map, that means death has happened there, like, like massacres. Well, okay, well, uh, you know as, I mean? as has been reported up until. So and it's we'll a religious see. thing. And, okay. and, 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 and you know what, the Vatican knows about this, and the, and the Vatican hasn't released that information, but that's what that means. You know, you see a cross there, that means something tragic happened. Should we say a shout-out to Chrissy? Shout-out to Chrissy. Yes, Chrissy, Chrissy Thompson. Yes. Yes, we want to say... Formerly, formerly Chrissy Love. Formerly Chrissy Love. Who opened up... Whatever is happening in the Bahamas now, as far as media and radio, they got a lot of loud mouths, and some of it good, and some of it bad, and some of it, you know, a, 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 all of it amateur hour, in one in, in one way or form, because uh, the country doesn't allow growth like that. Um, but Christina Thompson, she's the one who set a free voice in radio in this country, and it's amazing. It came from. Jean, she's a former information officer, so she had a lot of knowledge. She's she, the first. She was the first the, information one of the first, officer one in of the, the first. Bahamas. She was in the first grouping? I, I, she says she's the first. So okay, I, so she I, said, I, yeah. well, you know, hey, hey, you know, I ain't going to... And I'm that's Chrissy. I'm, I'm going to give her that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If she says she's the first, and she knows why she said she's the first, and we got to give her that glory. Okay. Every, okay? Everyone got there. Everyone got there, you know. Yeah. Everyone got there. It's hard being an information officer in the Bahamas. Yes, you were once. That's what I was coming to. You you are currently serving and have been serving for 13 years, which yeah. is why you have a lot of knowledge in climate change and, and all the things. Serving and what's going on in the world. Seeing three prime ministers and all the underlings. Yeah, I worked under three prime ministers. Yeah, and, and this um, is all under the queens. Uh, and the queen is my boss. Yeah. Yeah, we go. We all work for the queen. Yeah, there you go. In some way or form. Yeah, but, they, you, but the you queen you is only, my boss. Yeah, but you've only met, you've only met uh, HRH Princess Anne. Yes, I did. I did meet uh, her royal highness, Princess Royal Princess Anne, and she was very kind to me. She said she'll get back to me about the Bahamas National Trust. I'm still waiting on that. There you go. She's yeah. kind of busy. You know how things go. Yeah, she's busy. She's busy right now. There's plenty of things going on in the palace at this time. Yeah. Once they sort it out, I know they'll come to me. There you go. You know what I mean? I'm very hopeful. I have a lot of faith. And patience, apparently. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, more, more, more faith than Prince Philip's mother. Funny <laughs> <laughs> faith, but... And on that note, <laughs> hey, until next time, and our best to you. Please live your best life now. Yeah. And your next beverage, we're with you. Cheers. Exactly. Congratulations. If it, if you, it has you, happened, Jeff, greater. Jeff, you know what? Before we go, should we say something about the current thing that's going on right now, or should we just leave that alone? Next time. Keep it for next time? Next time. Okay. Okay. All right. Until next time, everyone. I'm Jeff. I'm Gina. Take care. Take care. How long was that?